have one for some more Crash Bandicoot for the uh, Insane Trilogy here on the, the Switch. Last time around, we somehow got past the Native Fortress, which was the final level of Wampa Islands. And now we're on to the second island here, which um, I'm going to be doing only this level, which is up the creek. But there's also going to be a boss battle after this. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. And one thing I do want to say real quickly before I continue is that... I mean, obviously, since it's the first time I'm playing this game, this is going to be not a 100% playthrough. But I also want to just let you guys know, which I already have this down in my description. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to be playing this entire game. I'm going to be going as far as I possibly could. And if I feel that I'm stuck or if I end up getting frustrated or if I'm just not having fun with this game anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and end it. But I just I do, I do want to warn you guys ahead of time. Because I know... In this second island, there's going to be a level that I'm not really looking forward to playing. I'm not even sure if I'm even going to be getting past that level. I'm not, I'm not even guaranteed that I'm going to have any more episodes after this. We'll just see how everything plays out, but... I'm going to try my best. But I think this episode... Which, by the way, Coco is Crash Bandicoot's sister. And the, um, the, uh, female, his girlfriend that you saw at the beginning, uh, the beginning cutscene, her name is Tana, so that's who we're trying to rescue, but we will be playing as Coco. I can press ZR to swap to Coco, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll be playing this episode... No, one thing I should say is that boss levels cannot be played with Coco. So the next level, I'm going to have to play as Crash, but at least this one, I can play as Coco. So, without further ado, we're going to be traveling up the creek. Failing a bonus round doesn't cost lives, so we try it. I already did that in a previous episode. You can see the Aku Aku just looking... And you can probably see I did not refill lives uh, off camera. I am going to go and go with the lives that I have. Ooh. Ooh. I forgot this was slippery. So Coco pretty much controls the same way as her brother. Not that I was really expecting anything else, but we get our first Tana token. Oh, I thought I messed that up. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't. Yeah, this game's pretty generous with extra lives, and considering what I went through the last episode, you can uh, it's, hard, it's not hard to see why. Okay, the, the timing of this is just awful. Okay, after this I should be good. Maybe not. How am I supposed to get to that leap of the stupid baby shark? I guess like that. Okay. And we're gonna jump on that leaf. And then we're gonna... Okay, let's go ahead. Oh! Oh, I was, I was close to the checkpoint, too. I timed that horrifically. Dang. Yeah, I timed that one horrifically. Okay, I didn't even think about it that time. I just went and jumped. Okay, let's see. Okay, awesome.
Okay, we get another Tana token. Okay, I do not have a Naku Aku. I need to be... Ah! Oh! And I just said that I jumped right into the baby shark. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay, we're back down to five lives. So all the lives that we got at the beginning pretty much were used up here. Okay, good. Oh, why did I do that? I was close to the end, too. Of course I was. Oh. You just need to time these jumps perfectly or else you're not going to be able to get anywhere in this game. Get over here. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, we got... Did, did I not get three Tana tokens? Apparently not. Apparently I only got... I thought I got three. Whatever, I could have swore I got three, but... Apparently the game said. Whoa! Apparently the game said I only got two. I could have swore that I got three, because I could have got. I could have swore I got one at the beginning, and I could have swore I got one right there at that that one checkpoint. And poor Coco is getting beat by boxes. But like I said before, my main focus isn't to get all the boxes. My main focus is to try to beat this game. Nah. Let's just see how this next level goes. Which, I'm gonna have to play this one as Crash because I can't play this one with Coco. But anyway, we're gonna be facing Ripperoo. And I have seen a video of this boss fight, and yes, it scares me a lot. So, we'll see if we can get past this boss, and then I'll end the video here. And then, if we get past it then we'll start with the ne next level in the uh, next episode if not this may be the final episode of this playthrough so without further ado let's take on Ripperoo. I didn't mean to rhyme there I didn't even think about that until I said that hint direct attacks don't hurt him oh this scares the hell <laughs> this scares the hell out of me And of course I jump right into him right off the bat, that's cool. And I jump- Oh my god. Oh, I can't- I fell in the water.
Oh, come on! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get past this one, guys. Okay. I think I got him. Oh, of course he would jump right on me. Okay, that's game over. But I think I think I figured him out now. I think I figured it out. Yeah, I'm gonna retry it. Yes, I think I think I figured him out. Okay, how many how many lives did I start out with? Oh, why did I jump? I didn't even jump that direction. Oh, come on! I didn't even jump that direction. I jumped. <laughs> and of course, I forget to mute my phone. I'm not. I'm not gonna mute it right now. You so say you're gonna have to listen to Mario World death mute, death sound for a good bit. I thought I had him. Okay, he just doesn't want to... On. Of course he would jump right on me. The first two hits are fun. I just can't get him after that. And of course I jump right in the water. Guys, this might be my final episode of this series. Uh, don't worry. I've already thought of a backup plan to play. Just in case. Because I did th th think about it before I went ahead and did this playthrough. So... Of course I fall in the water. Yeah, I can't. I'm gonna try one more time, but if I can't do it here, I, I'm, 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 I'm giving up. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Because this, this game is, wow. Jump in the water! Come on! Why is it so hard for me to jump on these TNT boxes? Why? I really wish she, I'm not. I don't know what difference Coco would make here, but I kind of wish she could play as her in this level. Maybe I can get and have better luck. Because this is ridiculous now.
Oh, you can mine. I don't hope this idiot would quit. That's not fair. Like, how am I supposed to beat this guy? How? Like, how am I supposed to beat this guy? Okay, good. I beat him. Okay. I don't know how the hell I managed that, but okay. Okay. So the playthrough goes on. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit of a heart attack. I thought for sure I was going to have to give up this playthrough. But we will go on here. We are going to be traveling to the Lost City in the next episode. But, um, like I said before, should I not be able to finish this game, I do have a backup plan in mind for what I want to play in this, uh, playthroughs, um, slots in the month of May here. But hopefully I won't get to that. Hopefully I'll be able to complete this game. But if not, I'll just implement that. But, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.